guys, I'm back again uh, and today we will be doing linear sequencer series uh, as we have started with sequencer series yesterday and then we'll be going on for the entire week. So for with linear with linear sequencing series, which is let's just write as an S sequencer series, you must always remember that you we have a, a standard equation. 60 and 76, uh, that, that's the uh, expression that we are given. So to get A, which is the difference, that means it's term 2 minus term 1. All right. So this is T1, this is T2, this is T3. This is T3. So to get T2 minus T1, uh, T2 minus T1 must also be equal to T3 minus T2. So from, with this one, we have 60 minus 44 and we have 76 minus uh, 60 which this one 60 minus 44 gives us 16 and this one also gives us 16 so the difference a is the same this just is a confirmation that this question uh it's a it, it is the, this expression it is a, a linear uh sequence and service because the first difference which is a is equal all right so that was 60 minus uh, 44 which is 16. So now we have Tn is equals to An plus B. Okay, this is the uh, our standard equation for linear sequence series. But let's look at the question. The question says find the first two terms. So the first two terms, this will be T4 and this will be uh, T5. Right. Now that we have 44, 60, 76, the difference here as well must be 16 and the difference here as well must be 16. So we add 76 to 16. Let's just use a calculator to be quick. 76 plus 16 is 92. So, and also to get the fifth term, we add 92 to 16, which will be 108. This is 108. So the first question we have already, we answered it, it's 92 and 108. So let me just write them there, 92 and 108. Uh, these are the, our T4 and our T5, right? The next question is, it says find Tn, of which I told you that it means an equation or a formula of the pattern that we are given. So the equation, it's, our standard equation is Tn is equal to An plus B, of which we already know the first different, which is A, is equal to 16. So it will be 16n plus B is equal to Tn. Now, our T1 is 44, our T2 is 60, we just choose which uh, t uh, which f term we substitute to get a b now uh, let's just change let's not use t1 just for a, for a change let's use t2 so t2 we know it's equals to 60 and 16 into 2 we uh, substitute uh, n by 2 because it's the term is the second term plus b so our b here is equals to 60 minus 16 into 2 of which is 32 right 16 multiplied by 2 is equal to 32 right so this will be 32 so it will be 16 minus 32 which gives sorry which gives 28 so b is equal to 28 right now that we have b is equal to 28 we can substitute into the original equation which is this one tn is equal to a n plus b which is equals to a we already know is 16 n plus 28 so that's our tn now from our tn let's just make sure that this is the correct equation so let's try by substituting one t1 is equals to 16 into 1 plus 28 this will give us just to be sure 28 plus 16 is 44 so that means it's correct so 76, which is T3, let's substitute uh, T3, let's substitute 3, there plus 28. So it will be 16 by 3 plus 28, which gives 76. So our, our, our formula is correct. Now the question says find T20. So our T20 is equal to 16 instead of N, we replace by 20 plus 28. So this is 28. Alright, so the question, our answer will be 20 plus 28. So it's 348. That's it. Uh, uh, that's the answer for that question. So let's just do a quick recap. 
We have a standard equation which is Tn is equal to An plus B, of which A stands for the first difference, N is the number of term, B is the constant, and Tn is the F term. Right, so the question says we must find the first two, that also, not the first two terms, it says, <laughs> sorry guys, it's not the first two terms, the next two terms, all right, the next two terms, sorry, that was a mistake, the question says find the next two terms of this pattern, which is 44, 60, and 76. So what we did first is to find the difference A, of which T2, this is our first term one, Term, one, term 2, term 3, and we need to find term 4 and term 5. So our T2 minus T1 must be also equal to T3 minus T2. Right? So 60 minus 44 and 76 minus 60 both gives the answer of 60, which is just a confirmation that our pattern that we are given there is a linear, it's a linear sequence. From then, after finding our, our, first, our first difference, we use the very same first difference to find the next two terms by just adding the third and the difference to get the fourth and take the fourth term plus the difference gives us the fifth term. Right, that one was answered. Our answer was 92 and 108. The next question says find Tn of which it is the equation of the pattern that we are given. Right, the standard equation that we have is Tn is equal to An plus B, which I've written here. And we already know our A because it's our first difference, which is 16. And we use the, the very same pattern to find B, which is the constant. Right, now that I just wanted to avoid using the very same uh, term, which is T1, then I chose to use T2. Our T2 is equal to, you can also use T3, T4, you can just choose which term to use, as long as you substitute the correct correctly into the equation so this t2 is equals to 60 uh which is 60 our term 2 is equals to 60 and also it's equals to 16 into instead of n we replace it by 2 because that's the second term plus b which is what we're looking for we're looking for this constant and then we get our b as 28 not not negative 20, 28 our b is equals to 28 so the equation that we have now is Tn is equal to 16n plus 28. From there, just to make sure that the, the, the expression that we have here, is the, the formula that we got is correct, then we substitute 1 to get 44, we substitute 3 and we also got 76, which just is a confirmation that the equation that we have, we have now, it is correct, it is for this pattern. Now the third question was find T20 which is term 20, then we just replace n by 20 and get the answer. So our equation we already know is t20 is equal, tn is equal to uh, 16n plus 28. So where this n, we replace it by 20. So this was tn is t20, is equal to 16 by 20 plus 28, which gives us the answer of 348. All right, guys. Uh, tomorrow we'll do more questions on linear equa on on linear sequence and series, and we'll just work on different uh, questions. And uh, the other day we'll do uh, uh, we'll do a quadratic. Okay, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to Math X Y Z so that you can get daily notification when we upload video. Thank you, guys.